In this video, we'll build an Excel model to estimate fuel costs so that you can budget how much money you can expect to spend on gas for a road trip. And we'll get to it right now. So here's our problem. It's time for a road trip and our round trip will be 525 miles. And our vehicle gets 24 miles per gallon of gas. And recently gas has been averaging about $3.21. So how much should we budget for a road trip? As with building any model, we'll look to our problem to identify parameters and variables that we will want to include in our model. And so when we look at this problem, we have three variables. We have the distance that we'll travel. We have our miles per gallon of gas, so our fuel economy. And we have the price per gallon of gas at $3.21. So for fuel economy, this is our miles per gallon. We have 24 that will enter. For distance, the number of miles, we're looking at 525 miles. And then for our gas price, we have uh, an average of $3.21 per gallon that we will use. And anytime that you're modeling, you'll notice that these cells are shaded. Anytime there's a hard-coded input, um, you'll want to shade that uh, so that it separates it or distinguishes it from uh, any results that would be modeled. And when you're building a model, you want to be able to manipulate the inputs so that you can change them, enter, let's say, a different distance for a different trip, or a different fuel economy for a different vehicle, or a different gas price, um, as we know that those fluctuate. And so these are inputs uh, for our model. Now, in terms of looking at the results, the results really will help us to answer the question, how much should we budget for our road trip? And so that result, that final result that we'll look for is the estimated total cost, right? The total cost will give us our budget. Uh, but an intermediate step in, in route to identifying the total cost, we will want to compute the estimated number of gallons that we consume. All right. And the estimated number of gallons that we'll consume is really given to us as our distance div divided by our fuel economy. And this makes sense, right? So we, when we're looking at our distance, we want to know ultimately if we traveled all 525 miles, how many gallons of gas would we need at a rate of 24 miles per gallon? right? And so we can model this by creating an equation where we say equals, which is how we begin an Excel function. Uh, so equals our distance divided by 24, which is our fuel economy or miles per gallon, right? And so we have D8 divided by D7 in this case. So I'm going to press enter. And we can see here that in order to travel 525 miles, we will consume an estimated 21.875 uh, gallons of gas. All right. And then for our estimated total cost, then we will take our estimated number of gallons of gas, so the 21.875, and multiply that by our uh input for gas price, right? And that will give us our total budget. So our total estimate for gallons of gas consumed multiplied by our gas price. And so we can expect to spend, based on this set of assumptions or inputs, $70.22 to cover the 525 miles of our on our road trip. So let's say that we uh, expected an increase in gas price because these values or these results are formula based. 
we are able to manipulate these inputs, the items that we have in the shaded cells. So for example, if the gas price increased, let's say to $3.50, we can enter that and see that the impact to our total cost has increased from $70 to over $76. We see as an intermediate step uh, that the total number of gallons consumed did not change, right? So this is all based on the gas price input, right? And that makes sense because we didn't change the distance or the fuel economy. Let's say that we changed our route and instead of a 525 mile trip, we saw that we couldn't afford, let's say, to take a $76 trip. Um, and so we took a more moderate trip of 300 miles. Well, now we see that we will only need to spend uh, $43.75 on gas and that our number of gallons consumed dropped considerably because our distance traveled uh, was cut as well. And then let's say here that we, I don't know, we rented a more fuel efficient car and we're going to get 32 miles per gallon. Well, that will reduce our total cost as well. And that's really driven by the fact that we will not need as many gallons of gas to cover our distance because our fuel economy has dropped. So this ultimately is how you can build a model to calculate a variable that has uh, some results that you model using mathematical equations. If you want to build more models and use data to solve problems, then hit the subscribe button so you can get alerted about the great videos that we have planned. And if you have a scenario that you'd like us to cover, make sure to let us know in the comments below. Thank you and see you in the next one.